Welcome to Double Get Dark Girl. We are starting as bare as possible. My hair is just washed, that's why it's in dripping bantu knots. I put some oil on them, some Kalahari melon seed oil on them, and I will be letting them air dry. Anyway, today is another cool tone day because it's winter and I just, you know, I'm really into that right now. And I feel like it looks nice on me. We are going to use. It's a foreign brand. It's Brahm and I just really, really love what they do there. <laughs> You've seen me use their quads before. First, we have to start with skincare. Does anybody know any good toners? I'm running out of toner left and right. And all my toners right now are from foreign brands and. during corona <laughs> I was like oh no because it was a little hard to get things you know because um, of mail and customs and stuff was really backlogged and you know all those problems that would come with like global lockdowns and stuff so I'm looking to not be so dependent on uh, <laughs> foreign skincare <laughs> and it's because I just really don't know I found actually But since then, I have found somebody on Instagram. I'll put her name here. She has a couple things there that I really am interested in. And the problem with me and stateside toners was because so many of them use the same three ingredients. Because it's like a trend, I guess, or because lots of people really like it. And it was rose, witch hazel, and hyaluronic acid. It's like every toner has to have one of those three or a combination of the three. And my skin cannot take any three of those things. So, it left me going elsewhere. You're hearing a game in the background. But if anyone knows any other toners, they can be from anywhere in the world really. What I've been trying to do is get, there's a, another brand, this name here. They're Cameroonian, and I've been trying to get their skincare, but you can only order through WhatsApp, and I, and every time I tried to get it shipped here, it's not an option on the website. <laughs> so, my best bet is to, like, find someone coming here and <laughs> ask them to bring it with them. And then we'll go in with Kindred Black. This is my Morn Arise. Have I ever showed you guys this before? Morn Arise. These are the ingredients. Okay. Now I'm just going to put a little bit. I'm still deciding whether I'll do foundation or just some spot concealer. And I'm so mad because usually in between that step I put on a little bit of serum. You know I got into serum I told you because of Miss Niecy J here on YouTube always talking about serum. So I got into serum <laughs> because of that. Again I can't use hyaluronic acid and some of the ones she suggested are like major in that. I've been trying to find some things and Fourth Way Beauty was one. Show it to you. This one. I like it and it's over. <laughs> they don't sell it anymore. Moving on. Let's do eyebrows. Regular eyebrow activity. That'll do. So anyway. Now we will use mm, these two colors. We're going to use them there. And why did I pick this gray one? Apparently, it was kind of unpopular over there among people who weren't like super cool toned or makeup artists and other professionals that appreciate, you know, different colors and need the versatility. I picked it because, like, I think this would be actually a really popular over here simply because of the range of grays and stuff and then this top is more grayish like 
brown like grayish tan browns kind of this one's kind of got like a plummy color and so does this one but i think it would be really popular over here actually not only just for certain like other people to like really light skin people to contour but for deeper skin tones i find that gray looks really good on our faces casually like as eye makeup or when you use it as a base for a fancier thing so anyway as you can see i've used it already so i find it really really nice <laughs> it rom and in general i think they really focus on like pigmentation and color story so i always find what they're doing quite interesting so as you can see there you see how it just really is a natural look on the eye i made i mix those two colors to give myself kind of a taupey kind of color that I think looks really nice on dark skin. Hi! I usually end up mixing the tops and the bottoms anyway, so like I showed you these two. I usually do that too, but I started doing these two and really liked how it looked, and then these two. These I haven't really used for much, but these six over here I get a good use out of. So I like literally type in Ramand in the YouTube search. So I'll type in something like ROM and palette or ROM and lip. And then whoever has made a video about it, I'll watch it. Well, like there's like six of these. And the minute I saw it, I was like, yep, that's the one. That's the one for me. And I was kind of sad because the reaction to it was really, uh, I don't know. People really didn't react to it the way I expected when I first saw it. And all of it was understandable. But I was like, oh, they released something really different. It really took a chance. But look at that. Look how good that looks. <laughs> I love it. And so now we're going to take this color and we're just going to go on the lid. Or a soft gradient. Concentrate a little bit of color there. On the lid. I think it also really depends on undertones. So if you're like super warm tone, you know, like how some deep skin gets kind of buttery. Honestly, I feel like this could still work though, but you might feel a little like, mm, something about this is strange. But if you're more neutral or red, I think you'll really enjoy the grays. <laughs> Gray season. Eyes. Almost done. We're going to use that color there as a soft eye line. Hello. A little bit of fixing spray. And we're going to boom boom. Ba bum. So there's my eye line. Ba bum. Oh, should I bring you in? Ta-da! Eyeline. Done. Bing! <laughs> Bum. So, I use these four. And I got this eye. Now, today I am not going to put shimmer on. I'm just going to put a bit of mascara on. In the middle. Bum! The hardest part is always to decide whether I'm going to put on foundation or not. <laughs> Let's back up. Hi. Just put on a little bit to keep with the clean. I've been really into this. Milani's Chill Out. It's a soothing primer. Wild Oat Extract Ceramides. And it's silicone free. I'm going to put this here. Okay. Done. So it's blush season, and I am going to use this. I'm going to use the Berries palette as a blush palette. We're going to use this just a little bit. And then that. A little bit. Okay. So we're just going to be really careful. <laughs> Up here. 
right up here. We're just going to throw it on the nose as well. Lip time. We're just going to put this control on. The lip I had an idea for, I honestly don't think it's going to work anymore. So, rapid fire changing. Changing course of action. Revlon. Cherries in the snow. <laughs> so we're gonna take this and like put just a little bit up here. I actually think the lip has to be deeper. There it is. It did have to be deeper. So that's Cherries in the Snow and Colourpop. So, there you go. The end. <laughs> Bye. Did I use that as highlight? I'm going to use the same thing we put on the inner corner as a little bit of highlight. Ooh, that's pretty. Pretty. Winner. Hi.